Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the code forces problem A common prefixes which is the first problem of code forces round 659 division 2. So in this we are given, first we are given the definition of longish common prefix which is understood and informally speaking it is the number of common characters in two strings at the beginning at a stretch. Okay, so the com longish common prefix is that. Now we have n plus 1 strings s1, s2, s n plus 1 and we have n integers. So each integer i represents the length of the longest common prefix of si and si plus 1. And so that is why when we have n plus 1 strings, we have n numbers. Because the nth number will represent the length of the longest common prefix of nth string and n plus 1th string. Okay, now we have these numbers. However, we don't have these strings. So based on these numbers, we have to generate these strings. So if I just take this example 1, 2, 4, 2. So you can see that in this and this, the common is 1. In this and this common is 2 and then this and this common is 4 and this and this common is 2. Okay, so like that we have to generate the strings. So you can see that the example is a little confusing because there's a lot of characters which is not necessary. So let me just take the same example and see how it is working. So the array is given as 1, 2, 4, 2. Right. So let's write it as this 1, 2, 4, 2. So each here will have a string S1, here will have a string S2, here will have a string S3 here s4 and here s5 so four integers are there and will have five strings now see the common part of this and this string will be one the longest common prefix part the length of the longest common prefix will be one for s1 and s2 for s2 and s3 it will be two s3 and s4 it will be four and s4 and s5 it will be two which is there given in the problem now focus on one thing that for each string except for the first one for here for the first case, the length of the string S1 will be the length of this, right? It can be more, but minimum length of this string has to be 1, which is the same integer. Now, coming here, the, the minimum length of the string S2 will be the maximum of this and this, right? The minimum length of string S3 will be the maximum of 4 and 2. So, it will have the length 4. Now, how is that? Let me just uh, explain it to you. Suppose I have this as A. And suppose I have this as A. And suppose I have this as AP. Okay. So here I am taking the length as 1. Here also I am taking the length as 1. So is that possible? No. Because it's given that 2 is the length of common prefix between here and here. So if the length of common prefix is 2, then the string should have the minimum size of 2. So size 1 is not possible. Okay. Now again coming here, it says that the common prefix of this and this string is 4. So this string should have the minimum size as 4. Okay, and coming here, now coming here, you see that this is lesser than this, right? Earlier, this was let the bigger than its previous here also, this was bigger than its previous, but coming here, this is lesser than 4. As for the integer, 2 is lesser than 4 at this position. So what should be the length of S4? Can it be 2? No, it has to be 4. Because in this and this, longest common prefix is 4. So this should also have the length 4. So that is why I said for a string i, for a string si, its minimum length or let's say its length will be the minimum required length will be maximum of a of i and a of i minus 1, right? So length of this string should be this at least. After that, it can be anything, it doesn't matter, but because we're only focusing on the common prefix, I'll just say the length as this and I won't care after what is there, I'll only focus on making the string of this length, okay? Now that we focused on getting the length of the string, now let's see how to get the string, okay? So for the first case, there's no problem uh, and you can select any character. So I'll just use A, B, C, D, etc. So I'll have two variables, okay? I'll have a string called previous. I'll have a string called previous, which will initially be nothing. And I'll have a character current, okay? And current can initially be A, okay? Now, when I come at the first position, this string can be anything, but it has to be have it has to have this length, right? The first string can be anything, right? Because it doesn't have an element before it. So what I'll do is I'll take this size and I'll put all A's here. So here the size is only one, so I'll just put a one A, right? Now I come at two here. So now I come at here and I see that the the length I want is two, but the common part should be one. So what I can do is I can just write a here because that will be common and then I can do current plus plus okay so if I do current plus plus it will become b now rest 
of the length 2 minus 1, I'll put as b. Okay. Now I come here, I see that the length required is 4. Okay. And the common part I need is 2. So I'll just, the common part I'll just write as ab. And the rest I'll do current plus plus and I'll do that. Cc. Okay. Now I come here and I see that the length I want is 4 and the common part should be 4. So I can simply write abcc, no problem, nothing else needed. Now I come here and again I see that the length here and again the last and the first are the corner cases. So at the last, the length of the string will be the same as the length of the previous integer. So here the length will be 2 and so I'll just take the substring of this, so it will be ab. Now look at this arrangement for a second. Does this correspond to our answer? Yes. Here we have a and ab, we have one common. ab and abcc, we have two common. abcc and abcc, we have four common. abcc and ab, we have two common. Now I'll just write code wise what I'm doing, okay? So first I'm traversing through this array. The array is what? 1, 2, 4, 2. Right. So I'm traversing through this array. So with a for loop, I'll say for int i is equal to 0, i less than n and i plus 10. Okay. Now, like I said, if i is equal to 0, if i is equal to 0, and there are some corner cases, which I'll explain right now. The corner cases will be when any of this is 0. Okay. When any of this is 0, then we have to do something else, which I'm going to just explain. Okay. So if i is equal to 0, then if a of i is equal to 0 because uh, this is the corner case suppose if we, we had something like 0 2 right uh, in our uh, test case given we had 0 2 so because we have 0 we can make this a single character okay so I can make this anything so just for the sake of it I'll make this a okay so if a is equal to 0 all I'll do is I'll say a uh, previous string the string is equal to curve and I'll just print previous okay which is the string I used. So if it is 0, then the corresponding, suppose this was 0, 0 and 2 was there, so this corresponding string will be A. That is how I make it. Okay, so this is the case if it is 0. Now if it is not 0, then like what I said, what we'll do is simply as many times as AI will print, will make previous as uh, A. For example, uh, suppose it was something as uh, 5, 3, 2. So here we have 5, so I'll just make the string as 5A. So A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is what I'll make A. So this will be my previous string. So for this what I'll do is I'll say previous uh, for int i is equal to 0, i less than the number a of i, i plus plus and then simply previous plus is equal to a of uh, is equal to cur. Okay, cur is the current value which was initially a. So after this our previous string or our this is previous. I'll go to the code also after a while. So our string will be initialized at i is equal to 0. So this is the case for i is equal to 0. Now other case in the middle. Okay. Uh, so in this case, for this case. Okay. So this we did. So if I just write it back. So if it was 1, 2, 4, 2. So now what I've done is I've made this as a. Okay. Now for the else what do I need to do is first I need to check if a of i is equal to 0 and a of i minus 1 is equal to 0. Meaning that i am 0 and the string before me was 0, there is no common prefix. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll simply say cur plus plus and previous is equal to cur and so I'll just say previous is equal to cur and I'll just print that. Okay. So see out prev. Prev is the same as previous, don't get confused. So what does this mean? So this means that suppose I have a 0, 0, 0. So I can just make this as A, then I can do curl plus plus, I can make this as B, then I can do curl plus plus, and I can make this as C. So this is the case when I am 0 and the string before me is also 0. Okay, now else part. Else part if A of i minus 1 is greater than A of i. Okay, and A of i and A of i minus 1 are the numbers. Okay, so if A of i minus 1 is greater than A of i. So here you can see that this case comes here. Okay, what we'll do? A of i minus 1 is greater than a of i. So obviously the length of the string will be a of i minus 1 because like I said, the length will be the maximum of a of i and a of i minus 1. Okay, and a of i minus 1 is the common. So here it is a simple thing. We don't need to do anything. We'll just make our string previous as the substring of it. So previous dot substring of length a of i minus 1. Meaning that whatever was my previous string 
whatever was my string for ai minus 1 i need to have the length of ai minus 1 and i need it to be the same okay you'll have a better understanding as i move to the code this is just the pseudo code else part now else part is a little tricky else part is a of i is greater than a of i minus 1 which is here right so if i come here then a of i is greater than a of i minus 1 then what do i need to do whatever is my previous i need to take the substring of length before and then i need to add current different okay so for that what i'll do is i'll say previous is equal to previous dot substring of 0 and a mi minus 1 so till ai minus 1 length it will be the same as before so that ai minus 1 is the common prefix now the next the next part of the string should not be common okay so for that what we will do is for int uh, j is equal to 0 j less than a of i minus a of i minus 1 because a of i minus 1 we have already taken and the total length should be a i j plus plus and now what we will add what we will do is first we need to do cur plus plus and now, then what we need to do is we need to simply do prev plus is equal to cur and then we will print that so again what is happening if i look at this example so i just made this as a now i come here i see that 2 is greater than 1 so this is my previous so i just take the substring of previous as length 1 meaning i take this now remaining 2 minus 1 i add cur plus plus and i add b okay now again i come here same thing 4 is greater than 2 and this is my previous so i take the substring of previous of length 2 it will be a b and 4 minus 2 i just add c c okay now i come here so this is the case where 4 is greater than 2 right so when 4 is greater than 2 what we're going to do is we're going to just take the previous string whatever there is and we just take the substring of this length so again it will be a b c c and finally afterwards uh, when we run out of the loop if uh, a of n minus 1 is equal to 0 meaning that the last value was 0 so n and n plus 1 string don't have anything as common so what we'll do is we'll simply do uh, first we'll do cur plus plus and we'll simply print cur cur is the character okay otherwise we'll just simply say see out the substring of length and minus length a of n minus 1 okay 0 a of n minus 1 and that's it so now i'll move to the code so you get you can get a get better understanding so the basic idea what i'm doing is that uh, let me explain with another example suppose i have 5 3 okay so suppose i have 5 3 so 5 and 3 so like i said the first i'll make it as a a a a a perfect now 3 is lesser than 5 so what i need to do i need to make the length as 5 and the common should be 5 also so i can just say this 1 2 3 4 5 this is correct now i come here and i see the length 3 so i can just make this as a a a this will work this and this 5 is common this and this 3 is common okay so this is how it's working now i'll move to the code Okay, so this is the code. So, like I said, I just took a of i and care cur is initially a, previous string is initially nothing. Now, like I said, if i is equal to 0, then previous is equal to previous plus cur, meaning as many a's will make. Otherwise, if it was 0, then we'll just have one a and we'll print that. Okay, now this case, if both a of i and a of i minus 1 is 0, then I'll just do cur plus plus and I'll print that and make that a previous. Otherwise, if the last integer was greater than this integer so i need to have the same length as the last integer but i will take the substring and both the and the full string will be common with my previous one otherwise i'll just take the substring of a and a of i minus one and only that part needs to be common rest of the part i'll just add cur and then the final n minus one -th part i'm looking at here so i'll give a link to the code in the description and so that's it. If you have any doubts, just ask in the comments. So that's all guys. Thank you.